In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an all new ESC from Racer Star. Now, it's called the Reach Up 40 Amp ESC. Now, this is a 20 by 20 BL Heli 32 40 Amp 6S ESC on paper. So, let's get started. So this ESC is rated up to 40 amps, theoretically on paper, which means the feds could probably handle that much. However, personally, I would not really recommend setting this up on a 5-inch quadcopter that is 6S. I think that would be overkill. It might run fine, but I don't think the overall longevity would be really great, especially if you take a look at some of the things they provide you in the package, which is the power wires that will be connected to whether you're XT30 or XT60. Now, these are 18 gauge, they're really small, and this is kind of telling you that this should be installed on a micro quadcopter, not a five inch setup. So something up under four inches would be great for this. That's capable of running 6S, you'll be fine. And again, I don't recommend you set this up on a five inch quadcopter. This is my opinion, but you can do as you please. But this is really meant for a micro. You can tell by the stuff they're providing in the package here for you. They also give us a low ESR capacitor, which is really great because the filtration is okay for a micro. Um, but for some sort of a five inch, this, is, this will not cut it. But for a micro, this is okay. Uh, three inch, a three inch and below, this would be great. And just always adding that low ESR capacitor does really help. Now, another feature this thing does have on board is a five volt regulator. Now, not a lot of these have five volt regulators. And what's really nice is not all flight controllers take battery voltage. So this is where this would actually come in handy here. Now, if we bring in our connector here, what we have is the first four on the left are going to be motors one through four. And then this one, which comes in a servo type connector, is going to be, the white wire is going to be current, red is going to be 5 volt, and the black is going to be ground. So you'll be able to power up any flight controller that takes 5 volts, which is really nice to have. It's a 2 amp regulator on board. And the last one here, which is going to be uh, telemetry. So we have telemetry, 5 volt ground current, and motors 1 through 4 here. And the way this would actually be installed in your quadcopter would be the battery leads would be in the back here. Motor 1, 2, 3, 4, so the camera should be up there, or the front of the quadcopter up here, and this stuff would be in the back. And it should be installed exactly in this orientation. So the motors would be mapped correctly to the flight controller, or, you know, so it could actually fly. Because if it wasn't, if it was installed like this, your quadcopter would never fly, unless you know what to do. So if you didn't know what to do, just install it like this, and you're going to be good to go. And it does matter the orientation orientation here. Now, if you take a closer look at the backside here, they also have two holes for us, which is really great for installing the low ESR capacitor instead of having to fight the low ESR capacitor with the main battery wires here. And that usually can be a bit of a nightmare, but in this case, they really, really do help you out here. So the left side here would be the ground, which would be the black. The right side would be the positive here. And if we wanted to install this uh, low ESR capacitor, what we need to find is the ground side, which is this side. So we'll get this pin right here on this side and we'd actually install that on the left here well i'm going to start with the positive on the right just to make it easier because that one's a little bit longer so you would just install these into the hole like that and you can go ahead and just solder it so you have this side on the left here where it says negative and where it has nothing that's usually the positive and i would solder the bottom here and then trim these off and now you have your low ESR capacitor installed and when you install your main battery wires you're not going to have any issues uh, or it's just going to be much simpler than having to fight the leads from the capacitor here. And it's highly recommended you add this low ESR capacitor. Now, they also do provide you with a heat sink. Now, they should have actually provided two heat sinks because the FETs are not on one side. They're actually on two sides. And uh, you have FETs on this side right here. So as you can tell, here's four here, four here, and one here, one here, and another one, and another one here. And on the back, we also have FETs here and FETs here. Now, the heat sink will not be installed on the bottom because the capacitors are actually slightly higher than the FETs. So this won't allow it to hold. So this will actually go on this side and it'll only basically just be dissipating a total of eight FETs here, uh, which is, it's better than nothing. It does have the double-sided sticky uh, thermal adhesive there. So you'd just install this just like that and then you have yourself a little tiny heat sink. It's really useful, but then again, I, I kind of see maybe why they didn't put two heat sinks because of the offset of the capacitors here. And uh, if we take a closer look also, we see that we have uh, these copper rails here. We have one here and we have one here and another one here. And that's to improve the overall 
uh, power delivery down to the motors so it allows more current to go through which is also something really great and if we're talking about the holes here these are m2 holes that means these are two millimeter holes and again it's a 20 by 20 so keep that in mind as well and again i personally highly recommend you don't install this on anything above a four inch quadcopter this is my opinion you could probably get away with it with using like the really old 2205 uh, racer star motors on a five inch i think you'll be fine in that perspective but if you want to go super heavy duty uh, i wouldn't set this up on a five inch i'll just stick to micros on this one and i think it would handle really great now on paper this is by far i think one of the best price to performance uh esc for micros since it's 6s 40 amps with a five volt for 37 dollars so overall this is a really nice priced 4-in-1 ESC with the amount of features on board. For example, like I said, the Beale Hood is 32, 5 volt regulator, 6S, 40 amps. But again, I don't recommend setting this up on anything above, uh, you know, anything above a 4 inch. You'll still be fine if you do, but the, in terms of longevity, I don't think it'll last that long. So keep that in mind. Like in a crash or two or a really bad crash, you might burn this guy. So, but you know, you might not as well also, but yeah, this is from my personal experience. You could choose whatever you want and everything's linked down below guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.